Thank you for watching our presentation on ventricular septal defects presented by Brandon Williams, Catherine Cedarland, Daniel Clampett, Arnie Carr, and Gerzman Jagpal. The different types of BSD, membranous CSD, and opening in a particular area of the upper section of the ventricular septum, an area called the membranous septum near the valves. This type of VSD is the most commonly operated on since most membranous VSDs do not usually close spontaneously. Muscular VSD, an opening in the muscular portion of the lower section of the ventricular septum. This is the most common type of VSD. A large number of these muscular VSDs close spontaneously and do not require surgery. Atrioventricular canal type VSD, a VSD associated with atrioventricular canal defect. The VSD is located underneath the tricuspid and mitral valves. The canal septal VSD, the rarest of VSDs which occur in the ventricular septum just below the pulmonary valve. Here are pictures to the different types of BSD. Why is ventricular septal Ventricular septal defects are among the most common congenital heart defects occurring in 0.1 to 0.4% of all live births and making up about 20 to 30% of congenital heart lesions. Ventricular septal defects are probably one of the most common reasons for infants to see a cardiologist. Echocardiograms is in this test. Sound waves produce video images of the heart. Doctors may use this test to diagnose VSD and determine size, location, and severity. They may also be used to see if there's any other heart problems. Chest x-rays. This is an x-ray that lets the doctor see the heart. The heart can sometimes be seen or felt uh, to be beating hard because it's extra, because of the extra work it's performing. Babies can be continuously breathing fast, hard, and sometimes have a very fast heart rate. This is what an EKG of a VSD looks like. Notice how it's very tachycardic, very narrow. Medications for ventricular septal defects depend on the severity of the heart failure. They could use uh, diuretics the Joxin and antibiotics. <clears throat> the hole in the uh, wall or the septum separates the heart's lower chambers, and allows blood to pass from the left to right side. The oxygen rich blood gets pumped back into the lungs and sieve out in the body, causing the, work, uh, the heart to work harder. Small VSDs may never be seen. Signs and symptoms, poor eating, failure to thrive, fast breathing, uh, breathlessness, easy tiring, abnormal heartbeats, fast breathing, poor growth and trouble eating, and an upset baby. In older children, you can see fatigue, heart palpitations, inability to exercise, shortness of breath and stroke. Doctors may first suspect a defect when they're doing a regular checkup and they hear a murmur when they're listening to the heart with a stethoscope. Uh, sometimes they're seen on ultrasounds before the baby is born. You want to see the doctor if you tire easily while playing, aren't gaining any weight, become breathless when eating or crying, uh, becomes uh, hard to breathe, um, or a shorter breath when they exert themselves when lying down. Uh, rapid or irregular heartbeat, and fatigue or weakness. Causes of congenital heart uh, defects arise from the problems in early in the heart's development, but often are not clear. 
um, as far as a cause. Genetics and environmental factors may play a role. VSDs can occur alone or they can occur with other heart defects. Uh, during fetal development, the ventricular septal defect occurs in the muscular wall, separating the heart into two sides, and it fails to form between the lower chambers. Normally, the right side of the heart pumps blood into the lungs to get oxygen. The left side pumps the oxygen-rich blood to the rest of the body. A VSD allows the oxygenated blood to mix with the deoxygenated blood, causing increased blood pressure and increase, increased blood flow to the lungs, the lung arteries. This results in increased work of breathing. Complications, small VSDs uh, may never cause a problem. They may never be found. Medium to large can cause a range of disabilities from mild to life-threatening. They can cause heart, heart failure, pulmonary hypertension, endocarditis, and other heart uh, problems related to it. Prevention. Most cases, you can't do anything to uh, to do while the baby is, before the baby is born. However, it's important to do everything possible to have a healthy pregnancy. Some of the basics are to make sure that you have a good working relationship with your doctor. Make sure that you're taking prenatal vi vitamins and that you're living a lifestyle that the doctor thinks will be best for the baby. Make sure that you're taking your daily vitamins that are rich in folic acids. Make sure that you're working out within your doctor's parameters. Avoid risks like alcohol, tobacco, and illegal drugs. Avoid unnecessary infections. And if you have diabetes, make sure that you're working with your doctor to keep that under control. Here's our HESI hint. An asynonic heart disorder of normal circulation where all blood entering the uh, systemic circulation is oxygenated. A cyanotic heart disorder abnormal circulation where unoxygenated blood enters the systemic circulation. Here's a list of sources. Thank you for listening to our presentation. Again, this was a presentation about VSDs presented by your Mod 4 VN55 LVN students.